I want to share with you one of the things that I've been doing at night, every night for years, that helps me to peacefully rest at night, knowing that I did everything that I should have done, and if I didn't, it's still okay. This is a this is a practice that I learned from a good friend of mine who has 10 children. If there's anybody that feels like maybe they failed at something, it's a mother of 10 children. Anybody that has any kids at all has the potential to feel like they didn't do enough or they let somebody else down or they didn't show up in a way or they were too tired or they snapped or whatever. This woman has 10 children and She's one of the most peaceful, loving, and generous women I know. She's patient beyond measure. And the 10 children that she had, on purpose by the way, with her one husband, yeah of course they're Catholic, but that's not why. These kids of hers, presidential scholars, almost perfect scores on the SATs, Harvard, Oxford, full I mean just unbelievable athletes, scholars, human beings, they're wonderful. And this is a woman who should honestly be having 20 kids, but who is taking inventory at the end of every night and she taught me how she does this. And it has changed the way that I feel about my self-worth, my confidence, and my ability to continue to show up in a way that's meaningful and helpful to other people in my family despite how I might be feeling that day. So what it looks like is this. You're laying down to sleep and you know it's time to go to bed and you just want to go to bed and what I, so whether you pray or not I typically pray after this but um, I will sit down and think okay what did I do that went right today what did I say or do today that I can give myself a high five for and whether it's like I listened longer to the kids I made sure to, to stare into their eyes while they spoke to me and focus I made sure to write everything down that I knew I wanted to remember because obviously I can't remember tasks and little action items if they're not written down. So I wrote all those down and those things did get done. And those things happened to be for the kids. And the kids really relied on me for those things. So I feel really good about that. These are examples. They're real examples, but let's just say they all happened in one day. I don't know. Went above and beyond for a client in a way that was unexpected but really meant something to them. So I'm proud about that. Well, what did I do that wasn't as high five worthy. Where do I feel like I could improve? And so this part of the process is really important to get right when it comes to the lack of shame, when it comes to condemnation even on yourself. And when I'm doing this, I'm kind of asking God to help me like, hey God, show me where where I went right and show me where I need help. Not where I went wrong, not where I effed it up, not where I'm useless. Show me where I could do better. Show me where I can improve because your your low points, your disaster moments are not moments that show you how terrible you are at something. They're showing you that that wasn't your best performance and you have an opportunity to improve. So where is that? God, can you show me that? Well, you know what? You're pretty short with one of your children here when they said this to you and you responded back and if you look at it, you'll know it's because you were really, really upset about coming off that one conversation you just had and you didn't extend the grace and patience to that child that they deserved. You could have done better. You could have paused, <sighs> taken a breath, waited, told them to wait just a second, ask me in a second and listen, and then respond, knowing that your other influences for the day and for your emotions can be put aside for just a moment while you focus on this one child's needs and their conversation. Right, so okay, thank you God for showing me that. Yes, now that I see that, you're right. Yep, that was coming from this place. I could have done better. Yeah, that wasn't my kid's fault. And I kind of probably made them feel like it was their fault. And so these are opportunities. When you're having these conversations, whether it's with God or just like with yourself, and you're, these experiences are being illuminated in ways that are not shame-based, that are showing you a bigger picture. Here's what you could have done better on. Here's what you missed. Here's what you weren't looking at or what you weren't paying attention to. When you're analyzing that, just for a moment, and this is like a three minute practice at night, right? Like this is very quick and easy before bed. But when you're analyzing that at night and you're walking through it, it becomes a part of you. It's very difficult to forget that you had that conversation with God or with yourself so that the next time that opportunity comes up where you could either show up well or let yourself down a little bit or let your kids down or let whoever down, you remember that you had this conversation because it feels familiar. You've talked it, you had the experience, you talked it out, and now here it is again. Here's an opportunity for you to show up better. And so this is a process that helps me continue to show up better and better and better 
in those opportunities that I have where I kind of feel like I really let myself down, like I didn't show up properly for God, my kids, like I could have done better. And it's not about shame. It's that we are human and we are fallible and things aren't going perfect every time and we get an opportunity to grow. So isn't that great that we are so full of grace and get a chance to grow every time we kind of mess up? Perfect. So taking this inventory at the end of the night, starting off with what I did well and what I feel good about, helps me to feel worthy of the things that are about to come, that are gonna show me, illuminate the things that I could have done better at. And they're gonna like soften the blow. Because I already know, <laughs> going into the night, that there are lots of things that I didn't do well or right. So I already know that's coming. But if I can pad myself with enough, you did a good job here, don't forget that. Don't, ce don't stop celebrating the little things that are going well with where can I improve? And not you suck, Sandra, but like where can I improve? Where can I do better? I tried, I showed up, but I didn't do as well as I could have. So show me where I can do better. The combination of these two things are great because it, again, elevates your self-love, your worth, your appreciation for how you do show up, and it mitigates that shame-based regret, guilt, all of that for the things that you didn't do as well. And you're saying, okay, God, or okay, whatever, I am committing to seeing that opportunity next time and doing a little bit better with it. Now that I know, now that I've seen, now that I've heard, and I've heard with open ears and grace and love, I can do it a little bit better next time. So I hope the nightly inventory process for you does something a little bit better, how that works for you or what you do at night in order to kind of self-assess in a way that feels good to you. I'd love to know what it is. And I feel like it's a really, really, really powerful practice that just puts things into proper perspective in a way that doesn't involve shame and guilt because it never should. So take that with you today. Let me know what you've got instead. I will talk to you again, legend.